Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 15.11, okay? It says, during operation, the jackhammer strikes the concrete surface with a force which is indicated in the graph. To achieve this 2 kg spike S is fired into the surface at 90 meters per second. Determine the speed of the spike just after rebounding. Okay, so we're giving it here first, we're giving the graph of our force and um, it's given in kilonewtons versus milliseconds. Okay, and as we can see, this is basically a triangular shape. And in the second graph that we have is our jackhammer and we're being told that this is striking down to our concrete, okay? So in order to solve the problem, first of all, let's write out our givens. So for givens, well, I'm giving the mass of this spike S to be two kilograms. I'm also being told that it's fired into the surface at a velocity of 90 meters per second, okay? I'm going to call this one our initial since we want to determine the velocity or the speed right after the rebounding, okay? So uh, also another thing to note about this velocity is that both well, the velocity is going into the surface, meaning that it's going down, okay? So these are the two givens. Of course, we are also given our graph of the force. And in order to solve this problem, well, we're going to utilize our chapter 15 equation, okay? And well, we have the mass, we have the initial velocity, we have the force as a function, and the thing that we want to find is this velocity, okay? So let's go ahead and plug in our numbers. Well, we have the mass is equal to two. The velocity is equal to negative 90. And I'm saying negative because it's going down. So I'm assuming going up is positive just in case. So going up is positive for this equation. And then we have the summatory of the integral of our force. Well, that means that we want the area under this forced curve, okay? And since this force is a triangular shape, well, what do we know? The area of a triangle is equal to one half the base times the height. So if we follow up to that, we will have one half the base. Well, what is the base of this triangle? Well, it goes from zero all the way to 0 0.4. So we got 0 0.4. Let's check out the units is meters per second. I'm sorry, milliseconds. So what we need is to convert it to seconds. So I'm going to multiply this by 10 to the negative three in order to convert it to regular units. Multiply by the height. Well, the height of this triangle is this 1500. So we multiply by 1500. And again, the units play a role in here. This is kilonewtons. I'm going to convert it to regular newton so this will be multiplied by 10 to the positive 3 in this case okay so this is basically the area of this triangle which will be equal to our impulse in our equation then therefore we have equal to and then we have the mass again 2 times the velocity that we want to find velocity 2 okay so let's plug this into our calculator our left side and if we do that, we'll find out that this is equal, all of that is equal to 120. Our right side stays the same, 2 multiplied by B2. And if we finally solve for B2, this will give me a total of 60. And the units will be in meters per second. Okay, so this will be the answer for our problem. So I hope you guys like the video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.